Hi, I'm Tony Fleming, and this is Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Hey everybody, thank you for joining us on what may be one of the nicest Chevelles we have ever had here. We've, uh, we've had close to 3,500 classic cars come through here, and this right here is, not only is it a spectacular car, it's the expensive restoration parts and the photo documentation and then the other documentation that comes with it that sets it apart from the other cars that you look at. Let's say that you decided you wanted to get a Chevelle. Let's say, you know what, I'm a, a pretty smart guy, I can probably restore this car myself or at least manage the project and things like that. Trust me when I tell you, you may be the smartest guy on the planet, but you cannot restore this car to this level for what you can buy it for here right now, shipped to your door right here in the U.S. Because uh, we've tried to do it in the past, and we do it for a living and can't do it. The way to buy it is this. You have somebody put the labor of love into a car like this, right? Put just over a 1,000 miles on it after they, after they restored it, right? And then offered to sell it to you for a lot less than they did. You say, well, why would they possibly want to do that? Well, because for them, it's not about the money, man. It's about the experience. They got to build this car. It took a few years to do it. They enjoyed it for a little while, all right? And now they're ready to build something else. And now they're allowing you to get a car and drive it by next weekend, not have to wait two or three years uh, to get the same kind of car. Here's another thing you should be thinking about. The outside of this car is spectacular. We're going to look at that, but the underneath of this car is as beautiful as the top, and you need to show every friend in your garage when they come over to look at this car to look underneath of it because it looks that great, all right? So coming up here, I like to talk about the paint right away. And the reason I like to talk about the paint is because the video doesn't lie. When you can read every word in that paint, those are the things that pictures can't show you. Pictures, pictures, pictures all the time, all right? They don't show you the imperfections and the paint quality. Every car looks great in pictures. The video doesn't do that. Now, this car is kind of cool because it is uh, a black car, but this right here, this right here, I put this on. And this is the correct SS stripe on there if you want it. So you didn't have to get it that year. I just put it on here because it had the period correct red line tires on there. Those are bias ply tires as well, so they look exactly like the car would have rolled off the showroom floor. What I'm getting at is if you don't like the stripe, it's a decal. I can take it off, no big deal, or you can take it off uh, either way, whatever you like. So we have pictures on the website with it on and with it off. You decide how you want it. We'll ship it to you uh, that way, all right? So as we walk down the car, some of the things you should be thinking about is how does the doors line up on these cars? Why well, didn't think about that? Why is that important? Don't they all line up that well? No, they don't all line up that well. It takes a long time to get black paint, first off, this smooth, and more importantly, look how you can read that in the side. That means that somebody bent their knees and painted this car. Instead of turning up the pressure on the spray gun and just shooting down at it, they spent the time to wet sand it, buff it, and give it that show kind of quality. All right? As we walk around, too, all the new stainless molding. Everything on this car has been replaced, man. Everything. This is the new 68 Chevelle, right? Super Sport that has matching numbers. We'll get to that later, but I want to keep showing you. Red lines here, all right? As we keep rolling around, new chrome and stainless. SS 396 call out right here. All right? And again, just wonderful, wonderful paint everywhere you look. It's just spectacular, man. It is just really, really nice. Hey, I just want to take a quick peek underneath this car. I mean, this is how spectacular. We have pictures of it, but when I tell you that, like, I'm laying on the ground looking at it going, I'm dirtier than the underneath of this car, and uh, you'd be absolutely right to say that. This right here, too, is an expensive Gardner exhaust. They're known for uh, bending the, the exhaust exactly like the factory. They're three times the price of a regular exhaust, uh, but if you want a car that can win a show, this is what you do. Okay, so let's uh, look under the hood, and I want to spend a minute here for the reason if you decided that you wanted to go to a car show or something like that, you could go there, open the hood, the critics are always going to be critics. Here they got a lot less chance to say anything to you, and I'll show you why. Come on up here and see. For instance, the correct bend in the fuel line, the correct fuel pump is there. GM hoses, the tower clamps. You say, well, Tom, what's the big deal about tower clamps? Well, there's nothing really that big a deal about tower clamps, but the simple fact is the tower clamp costs 10 times the price of a regular clamp, and when you're restoring a car and you want it to be done right, you put those kinds of pieces on there, all right? Battery topper here, the correct terminal ends. Then you say, well, what's that? Who would ever know? Well, you know what? If you're into judging, you're going to judge these, and these are the way these have to be. They don't have to be that way for you. The simple fact is you're buying a car like this, so that you don't have to do that. You can actually get in this car, drive to a show if you wanted to, or never show the car. You can just drive this car to dinner. It doesn't really matter, but it's set up to do whatever you want, restored the way it was uh, circa 1968, and that's what I love so much about it. 
the original intake manifold, the correct valve covers on here. A couple cool small things. The correct 68 style power steering pump, all right? Which is different than 69 style or 70 style. Wiper motor, all this stuff detailed very nicely. The correct uh, fan and fan blade and the correct belts that go on the car and the right pulley that's in there and the correct radiator and radiator shroud, dual horns, all that stuff. Yeah, all that stuff works. Now, more importantly, there's some things on it that uh, you forget to ask about. Power brakes instead of the original standard brakes, right? Power steering. Power steering, because all these cars today come with all those things. The old cars did not always come that way, and this makes for a much better driving experience. All right, so off to the trunk, and I spent a little time here for a second, too, and what I did was I took the mat out of the trunk for you. The reason I took the mat out, and I'll show you why. First off, I wanted to show you that the car came with a car cover. And the reason why that's important is when you're buying a car like this, you know that this was a garage kept car, obviously from the condition. But it was also a garage kept car, and they put a car cover on it. So that made sure somebody really, really loved this car. It's protected from the kids' bicycles. It's protected from uh, a spouse, perhaps, walking by who doesn't really know, doesn't really care. And that's the design to do it. But what I wanted to show you was, how beautiful the trunk pan was. Everything in here is done. It's not hidden by a trunk mat or mud and things. All the ribs are nice and deep. The plugs are in place. Look at this right here. All new wiring, front to back. This is essentially a brand new 1968 Chevelle, and I wanted you to see why. The correct stickers are in place. So if you go to a car show, open the trunk, open the hood. The mat will be in here, of course, right? And if you want us to get a spare tire for you, we can do that as well. Uh, but everything was out of the car, and I just wanted you to be able to see that. This is uh, really a collector car, and a collector car means that it has the original engine, and, and it was originally uh, a car. This is the last year that you could get uh, the VIN number or the code saying a 138 car, right? Um, having said that, and the documentation that comes with it, then you know it's really an authentic car. And uh, those pieces are missing 6970. There was no 138 in the VIN, and uh, there was no guarantee that it was a real super sport, and this is the last year for that, which is a pretty cool piece when you think about it. All right, so come on in and join me in here, and you can see uh, some of the detail. All right, so this car is pretty authentic. I wanted you to hear that. Like this right here, you don't get this from... <laughs> oh, well, one more time. One more time. Just humor me, all right? Listen to that, would you? That is spectacular. All right, so uh, little stuff like buckets and console, okay? Not standard. Typically, a bench seat would have come in these cars. And we're talking about options now. Power steering, power brakes, right? original AM radio, another option in there. This has a little upgrade to the sound system where it has those kick panels down there. So there's two items inside the car that are not original uh, equipment, and we can change those if you want, but they just make for a little better driving experience. One of them is the mats that say Chevelle on them, all right? They just should be black rubber mats that are in there. And this upgraded sound system for the kick panels in here. But a lot of people like us to do uh, a modern sound system in the glove box right there, and we hide it. And that way you can have your iPod, your iTunes, uh, Bluetooth, all of those good things, uh, which is really a nice feature to have, and you're not cutting up the dash uh, and making that uh, different as well. This has a pedal dress up too, all right, and it has the roller tack in the dash, all new gauges are in here, showing 1,070-ish miles since it was restored, battery, temp, oil, not dummy lights, real gauges, and get this, the clock works. When's the last time you were in uh, a 50-year-old car where the clock worked? This is that 50-year-old car where the clock works, and that's the level of restoration we're talking about. From the detail in the trunk, the detail under the hood, the dash being all stock and redone, all the stainless headliner and what have you, and the last little thing that most people skip when they're restoring a car, and that's making the clock work. Enough said. And one last thing, the key to a restoration is this. You hear that annoying sound? That annoying sound is that I did all the last details on this restoration, including the key and buzzer. All right, so as we close up this video, I want you to think about something. These Chevelles didn't all come the same way with all these options on them. They didn't come with the red line tires. They didn't come with uh, the vinyl roof to make it look like a convertible, which is really a cool feature. They didn't come with the Rally Sport dash, including all the gauges, or the buckets and console, or the power uh, steering. Like, all of these things weren't standard on these cars. And the truth of the matter is, as you were ordering a car, this is probably a car that either was factory ordered for somebody in particular, or when it came in, it got sold like that. And as you look at this car, you go, wow, that is a really, really nice car. You're right, it is a really, really nice car. Down to the Gardner exhaust, down to the gauges. This has the F41 suspension on it, so it handles really nicely. And it's matching numbers all the way throughout. 
uh, and, and that's what the owner claims that it is to us, and that's why we're passing that on to you as well. And he was a professional restorer. He did this car for himself, okay, and has now decided that he wanted to take on another project that he has. So here's a chance for you to get uh, an incredible amount of effort for half the price and, and not nearly the amount of time that it would normally take. So if you can find some way to get this really great 68 Super Sport Chevelle 396 four-speed in your garage, call us, 301-816-1000. We'll tell you all about it.